So I'm going to take this out as a clip. And thank you very much, uh, MXWS, for the uh, uh, on the subs. I appreciate it very much. Uh, this is a milestone for me. It's not a huge milestone. You know, obviously, I'm not celebrating 100,000 subscribers. I am not getting my plaque from YouTube. But this is something that gives me access to a personalized YouTube URL, which I didn't have before. So now it's youtube.com slash C slash Tales from SYL Ranch. That's where you can reach me. Now, as your question, having kids makes a big different, positive difference in a man's life. Um, I certainly think it's possible uh, to have a fulfilling life without getting married and not having kids. I think it's certainly possible. For me, personally, um, you know, my children are and has, have always been the greatest gifts of my life. Um, I, I, you know, I love them to death. And before I had them, I didn't think that that was going to be the case. Uh, after I had them, I discovered when it's your own kids, it's kind of different. You know, you, you really do feel, um, you know, they're, they're, there are so many things that they do, because especially when they're young, they're just absolutely honest. And if you do something, you know, they love you, they love you, and you feel it. Um, there are times I certainly remember when I wouldn't let my kid do something and they would scream and I hate you, daddy. But you never take that very seriously if you're a good parent. You go, yeah, okay, well, you know, such is life. You hate me because right now, right this instant because I'm not letting you do something. Well, it's for your own good even if you don't know it, you know. I will say... And uh, this is where we get into my MGTOW leanings, which is why I may pull this out as a clip. I think if you're a male in the Western world today, it is a very bad idea to get married. Now, having children, that's another thing. But it is a very bad idea to get married because it places you in an extraordinarily vulnerable position legally. Today in Western society, women have all the power when it comes to divorce. They have every single bit of power, and men have absolutely none, not, not, none whatsoever. If you get divorced, the reality is the woman is going to get everything, including full custody of the kids. That is a foregone conclusion. The best thing I ever heard out of my divorce attorney, because I'm divorced, the best thing I ever heard of my out of my divorce attorney was this bit of advice. Bill, if you were a minority or if you were somehow disabled, I would be able to do better for you. As it is, the best thing I can do is advise you when not to fight because you will lose. He was absolutely right. I think there is no good reason for a young man in our society to get married. Um, if you're living with a woman and you have children with her, well, you have the same access to the children that you would as if you were married. And if you get divorced, you will have the same access to the children as you did if you were, I mean, if you, if you break up, you're going to have the same access to the kids as you would if you were divorced. The difference is you won't be left in permanent poverty for the rest of your life, which is what happens. If you, a man gets divorced, reality is you get left in permanent poverty for the rest of your life. Um, MXWS says, I wouldn't be surprised if we later discovered that quote-unquote controversial channels had way more subs uh, than YouTube shows. My money theory is on 10 times the subs. Um, it depends on the type of channel. It depends on the type of channel. Uh, you know, it, I think MGTOW stuff does well. When I've done a couple of videos on MGTOW, those are some of my biggest vi viewed ones on YouTube. Uh, but again, I stated at the beginning of the show, and it, it's sitting here down here in my logo. Uh, this show is primarily a bit shoot channel because I get 10 times, 10, like right now, my last video on uh, my most recent one, the Babelfish Syndrome on YouTube, currently has, uh, I can't see it for my comma. Uh, 22 uh, views. It might have gone up a little bit since I... Nah, it probably hasn't gone up at all. Um, but over on the YouTube side, over on the uh, BitChute side, it's uh, now uh, 250. Uh, clearly, whatever YouTube's algorithms are doing for me is bad. My assumption, and I can't prove it, 
but my assumption is because I'm a libertarian, because I'm somebody who they believe should not be listened to. And so their algorithms are pushing me down. They're not showing me in sidebars and things like that. If I was ever eligible for monetization, which I'm not yet, uh, I think I would have a hard time getting my videos monetized. Uh, people who do things like MGDAO, some of them can get pretty big. Um, I've seen that for sure. I think that's because there is a large market for that. As I just stated, you know, as an older man who's been through a divorce and been through that family court meat grinder, because that's what it is. It is a meat grinder. I don't want to say that it's fun for anybody. It's not fun for the you know, woman at all. But at the end of the day, she gets everything. That is a foregone conclusion. And so it is a meat grinder as a male. You get to see your children disappear from you and have very little access to them. Um, it is a deal where you'll end up having uh, a few weekends with them. You will not be seeing them every day the way that the woman is. It doesn't matter how close you live. You could live next door. It doesn't matter. Um, and, and to me, that was the worst part of it. That was the worst part of it. The um, cutting off of access to my children because we had very good relationships. So cutting off access to the children was the worst part. I didn't mind so much being put into permanent destitution. Um, I minded more that I, I wasn't seeing my children as much anymore. And I made a, I made a pretty strong effort. My ex uh, took the kids and moved to Chicago shortly after uh, we were divorced. I was living in North Sioux City, South Dakota at the time. The drive from North Sioux City to Chicago is about eight hours. I was ultimately able to cut that. I could never find a job in Chicago because in order to find, because of the way the split worked on the child support, in order to find a job that I could both live on and to pay my child support meant that at best I would be living in gang country. Um, but that's at best. And most of the time you could not find a job out there that I could pay for me. So I found a job in, uh, in Des Moines, Iowa, which cut my drive time to about five hours. And I would drive back and forth at least once, sometimes two or three times a month uh, to try and be involved in you know, school and other extracurricular activities and stuff like that. Uh, most men don't have that uh, kind of uh, option. You, know, you just can't get in the car and drive for five hours either way. And it killed my lower back anyway. I've got a certain level of arthritis. So. <laughs> but for me, that was the killer. Um, just you know, having the access to my children cut off and um, <clears throat> MXWS says, thanks for answering the question. Can't get past the legal aspects of things. I know I value freedom too much to agree to ever agree to that. Yeah, it, it really, there is no reason for a man to get married in modern Western society. There is nothing to be said for it. You know, women will say, oh, well, you'll have consistent sex. Well, here's, here's a dirty little secret. And I understand why it happens. I totally understand why it happens. You know, when my dad was a young man, you know, let's say the 1950s, right? You know, sex was what you got after you get married. You know, starting in the 1980s or so, sex was the enticement for getting married. The idea was, okay, we're having great sex now. It's going to be even better after we get married. The reality is, in the vast majority of cases, the sex drops off. And, and I, understand the, I understand the reasoning behind it. It's, it's a biological thing. You know, for most of human history, up until the early part, mid part of the 20th century, the, um, the infant mortality rate was 90%. You know, you'd have 10 kids, only one would live. And it involved a significant risk to the mother. You know, she could die in childbirth. That happened a fair amount. You know, it wasn't all the time, but a fair amount. So biologically, you know, it's something that you don't think about. It's, you know, it's going on in the hindbrain. It's in there wired. Women know that there is a chance of, uh, of, of severe problems during pregnancy. And so when you're married, it drops off because they know that, you know, okay, now is a period where I can get pregnant. And this could be a problem. The fact that we have modern birth control is non as a non-issue. You know, we we it is it is a hardwired thing. 
Um, men have it too. Men have hardwired things too. Uh, but that is one of those hardwired things in women. And so I understand why that happens. So, you know, when women say, oh, well, you'll get guaranteed sex, and, and no, that's not necessarily true. You probably get better sex before you get married. And, uh, and they'll say, well, you know, you get, uh, you know, the, the stability of a, of a home and all that. And no. You know, 50% of the men in my generation divorced. And, and I can't recommend to any young man that they ever get married. It doesn't matter who they are. Um, you know, when it comes to my own kids, you know, I, 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 I certainly hope for them a marriage that would last. But the reality is you really have to work at it. You want to have to work at it. Both people have to want to work at it in order for it to work. And because of the inequity in family law, women know they don't have to work for it. You know, they can just say, okay, well, if you don't like it, I'm out of here. If I don't like what I'm doing, if this isn't working for me, I'm gone. I get everything. I get the kids. You know, you're screwed. So again, I just can't recommend marriage in modern society to men. I don't, there's nothing to recommend it anymore. Um... MXW, yes, you're saying men also virtually competing against the whole world. Uh, can't see any relationship lasting longer than 10 years without any disruption. Uh, why agree based on forever? Yeah. I mean, you know, I mentioned that one of the things that they did when I was marrying a Catholic woman is they had these classes we had to go to where half the time they're trying to convince us not to get married because they're trying to impress on us. This is a relationship that you have to work on. And I'm an atheist, right? But I get it because I, you know, went to mass with my ex uh, pretty religiously uh, every Sunday for about 13 years, and I get it. You know, marriage in the Catholic faith is a sacrament that is right up there with priesthood. It is that important. So for them, divorce is a huge spiritual problem, which is why they spend so much time trying to say. This could happen, that could happen. You really have to want to work at it in order to keep it going. And the reality is with modern um, family law, there is no real reason that a woman has to work at it. She can divorce and take everything, literally everything. You want to know what I walked out of my marriage with? A box springs, a mattress and a library of books that I brought into the marriage with me. I had no equity in the 2,800 square foot home we had on a country acre lot with, in wet years, a lake in the background, back. No equity in that. I had nothing and, and you know, had to start over from there. And still, I'm not at a point where I can start over from there. Uh, I, I'm permanently destitute. That's just the reality of life. And most men who get divorced are. So, you know, there's just no impetus to work at it. You have to really want to work at it. And uh, if the law says, eh, you know, you don't really have to, well, you know, if you're going to get married, you really have to work at it. That's just all there is to it. Um, so that's, that's kind of my MGTOW leanings, men going their own way. I, I do have some MGTOW leanings. I don't necessarily agree with some of the more radical viewpoints that they get. You know, I mean, the reason that people who have MGTOW channels tend to do well, if I turned this channel into a MGTOW channel, I'd probably do a lot better. But, you know, for me, once you've said something one time about something, there really isn't anything else for me to say about it. I can't get you know, emotionally worked up to the point where I, ha I can talk about MGTOW every single freaking day. I, you know, I talk about something once or twice a week, but it's, you know, the exception of like Second Amendment issues and stuff like that, it's rarely something that I can sit and really get emotionally invested in. I can't do it, you know. Um, so I don't agree with necessarily all of the really extreme parts of that. Um, you know, some guys, I mean, you hear guys, you know, pardon the language, I don't usually use it on this show, but you hear them talk about women going through phases, like when they're young, riding the cock carousel. Um, there might be a, a glint of truth in that, but I, I, don't, I don't think it's something you can apply to every woman equally. 
Uh, it just depends on the person, you know. And uh, choices that women make for boyfriends. You know, I've had female friends who have told me, no, 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 uh, women don't like dating jerks. But the fact is, I have seen a lot of younger women dating jerks. Um, so, I, again, I can't really go down the road of saying, you know, all the, some of the more, you know, really radical stuff is true. Uh, I can just say, look, you know, as somebody who's been through this meat grinder, I see no reason to get married. There is nothing whatsoever in it for the man at this point. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.